What is up everybody, Sven Diesel here. I'm gonna show you how to add a pound to the base of this Stomfo vise, just using stuff you might have at your house already. Now, the first thing we need to do is check out this vise on the scale here. You say this it has four pounds and three ounces. And you may ask yourself, why do I need to add more weight to this base? That's already pretty heavy. But as I've been tying on, I've noticed it just moves around just a little bit. I like my uh, vise to have a little bit more weight to it especially the base um, that helps when a, you know you're doing a video or you're tying and you turn it and it's going to you know mess it up a little bit so i just like having a heavier base so i'm just going to start by um, flipping it over you know, unscrewing these screws and you can see there's uh one two three four that have the uh, feet on them and with a screwdriver this is a little bit of a pain in the butt um, it uh, i'm going to speed it up through this whole process because you should be using a pneumatic or a drill based uh, battery operated drill. It might speed it up quite a bit. And I'm gonna make sure to keep these in order so that I can replace these feet uh, in case they are meant to be for a certain um, position on here. But we're just gonna get these unscrewed. My hand keeps cramping up. And so probably before we put it back on, I'm gonna go get my battery drill. But I wanted to be careful with these screws as to not damage them. But I'm very curious to see what is inside of here because it feels heavy, but it also feels like there's a lot of space. And so that's why I decided to take this apart and see if I can't add a little bit of weight in there. So um, we're almost about done. So let's go ahead and get this last screw. My hand is just dying now. So make sure you get the right drill or Phillips head on your uh, battery operated drill. And we are to the last screw. Let's pop it off. And just as I suspected, you have this weight here right underneath the uh, device uh, stem and we got all this hollow space up in here that uh, it looks, you know, it's not hollow in the fact that it doesn't look durable, but it looks like I could add a little bit of weight. And so I'm just going to grab something that I have here at my house and that happens to be some uh, BBs for my BB gun. Um, I was going to use some like uh, nuts and bolts or something like that that uh, was uh, but I feel this will feel the space and add a lot of weight um, I guess technically I could use tungsten plummeting beads But I don't think that's in my budget and if I was gonna you know use that amount of beads I'd probably just invest in a Different base for this that uh, you know weighs uh, quite a bit, you know six or eight pounds. So um, I don't know why I like heavier bases. Um, it's just personal preference. I'm not using this to travel with. If you were, I wouldn't recommend doing this. And for many tires, they won't have to do this. However, I just wanted to make sure to add a little bit of weight. And I'm just spreading these BBs out um, with my hand, making sure that it's going to be flush so that this cover won't have any sort of uh, interference. It's going to still sit flush. I'm going to do a check here to make sure that it is going to seal properly and uh, you could shake it around at this point if you want. Um, and then what we're gonna do is add a little bit more here in the back just to increase this weight. And this is gonna be a little bit trickier because the BBs don't really wanna come out of this. I guess I could leave the nozzle on for this portion, but we'll just get as many BBs in here as we can. Try not to drop them on the floor or you know, get them in your computer or, or whatnot. Take as much time as you need, but I'm just gonna fill every gap here, even on the sides with as many BBs as I can. I'm trying to maximize the amount of weight I can add, and we'll go ahead and just make sure everything's even and flush, uh, that we don't have a BB sticking up that could break this plastic base because the part we removed is plastic. But I'm gonna shake it around, make sure it's nice and flush, and then we should be good to go. So I'm going to start by putting the middle screws in, and by doing so, I'm just gonna hand tighten them in the beginning. And I went and got, uh, in between one of these, I went and got my battery operated drill with the corresponding Phillips head. I don't know the number, but it's a fine tip for these little small screws. And I'm just going to uh, grab this and drill them in, making sure not to over tighten them so that you crack the plastic. Um, I don't wanna have to buy a new base, but uh, this is pretty, pretty easy now that I got my drill. I'm just making sure that uh, I get all these screws in and I'm putting the feet back on and the same ones I took off. I'm gonna kinda have to swivel them a little bit to get them in the correct position. Um, that is something I might upgrade here in the near future as well as something with like a little bit more of a rubber to help keep it uh, more in place because these plastic ones can still slide a little bit. But there we go. That was a pretty quick little project. Let's check out. I got a scale at zero. Let's put it on. Bam, there we go over a pound. 
So if you want to increase the weight on your vise, on your Stonfo vise, it's as easy as uh, adding a little bit of weight in there. I use BBs, use whatever you want and have fun with it and hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.